Welcome to Escaping the Bubble from Dubrovnik, Croatia. Croatia. We'll explore inside and outside the fortified city walls of Dubrovnik. This is one of Croatia's most unique and beautiful cities. And let's not forget that this is King's Landing from Game of Thrones. So if you're a fan, around the city there are so many spots you might recognize. You can only enter the city through one of four gates. And this is Pile Gate. And as we enter, we walk down the steps that, of course, a scene from Game of Thrones was filmed on, and then right onto famous Stratton Street. Yeah. Walk into our apartment. And the old city of Dubrovnik. We definitely recommend staying inside the old city walls if you can, especially for first time visitors. Uh, this is the view from one side looking at Surge Mountain and the rooftops of Old City. And it's a pretty awesome evening. We just watched the sunset from the other side of the house. Hey guys, we made it to the Rubnik and the Old City. We're right now we're walking back into our apartment through the Plache Gate. We just went to Banye Beach. It is a beautiful day. Uh, we had our first sunny day in about the last four days. All right, let's go, guys. Inside the gates, the only way around is by foot, but you can walk from one end of the old city to the other in about 15 minutes. Inside the city walls, there are tons of restaurants, cafes, shops, museums, ferries over to the island of Lokrum, and tons of other things to see and do. Here's another Game of Thrones set. Recommended to the cast because, yeah. This is the main street in the old city, Strata, <laughs> and it's where a lot of the restaurants and cafes are pretty much in the center of the old city of Dubrovnik. And our apartment is uh, about 500 meters uh, away, just at the end of the street down to the right. Yeah, we're going to get some gelato right now. <laughs> oh, and by the way, there are lots of steps to climb up and down. We learned a lot about the history of Dubrovnik and the resiliency of the city and its people while we were there. It's hard to believe that in the early 90s, the city was under attack and several parts of the city were on fire from being bombed to include Stratton Street. You would never believe that's the case as you walk by some of the beautiful shops and buildings around the city. All right, we've been reading and seeing about these little stones on the side of the wall. They're actually steps that are challenging oh, to stand see. on. So I Kenzie's gonna try and stand on it. Ah, there you go. On the main street of Stratum in the old city and there are still night finches flying around and we're looking at the bell tower by the uh, Ploche uh, gate and a full moon is rising behind it it is unreal this is a 15th century fountain and it comes from a well. And it's right in the smack dab, front gate of the old city. It's massive. I'm gonna go back. It's really big. You can see that lady right there. And it's so fresh. There we go. It's 
fresh water, fresh spring water. That is good. <laughs> And it's always running and it's always open uh, for everybody to drink or refresh Oh, and now it's getting a shameless mojito. Yep. Because. Dun dun dun! Prepare to be shamed. Game of Thrones. <laughs> Be sure to check out our full video on Game of Thrones in Dubrovnik. We list out all the major sites where Game of Thrones was filmed. And you can follow along and give yourself your own tour. Hey everybody, we just got back from walking the walls of Dubrovnik today. Uh, it's definitely a must do when you're here in Dubrovnik. It cost about 200 uh, kuna, which was about 30 US, so it's a little spendy, but it's definitely worth your money. Children are about half that, so about 15 US to walk the walk. It was awesome. Get See? your camera ready. <laughs> but pretty nice day today. Normally it's uh, sunny and warm, but today it's actually cloudy and a little bit cool, so it should be a perfect day to walk around the entire old city. It's about a two hour walk. All right, here we go. Building over to our left is actually our Airbnb. The one on the corner with the wooden windows, uh, one of the wooden windows open. So we have a pretty good view and a pretty cool uh, location close to the old city walls and the water. Walking the walls was a lot of fun. We highly recommend it. There were amazing views and it was fun along the way. Banye Beach is a great beach and it's only about a 10 minute walk outside the Plache Gate. We're at the Banye Beach Club. This is one of the major beaches in Dubrovnik. We're right outside of the old city. You can kind of see the fortress or castle walls in the distance there. And here is our lunch spot, the Bondi Beach Club, which is pretty dead and quiet, and it's normally a huge party, but we have one of the best seats in the house. All right, that's it. <laughs> top of Surge Hill on the cable car. The last few days it's been really windy and bad weather so the cable car has been running but today is just a beautiful day. It was about 160 kuna per person so I'd say 20 bucks each to uh, ride the cable car up here. It was about a 10 minute ride but the view is spectacular so definitely worth it on a good weather day. You can see several of the islands out to the west and just get a great view of the old city and Lokram Island. Time to head back down. We definitely recommend taking a couple hours out of one day and heading up to the top of Surge Hill on the gondola. The views are definitely worth it. The girls were busy shopping in town, but they were bummed when Parker and I showed them all the cool pics and videos from the top.
All right, so there we go. Just left our Airbnb and we're walking to the best spot to have a cocktail or happy hour, watch the sunset in the old city of Dubrovnik. It's called Bouja Bar and literally it is just a few steps down, maybe 20 yards down and all from the our cats Airbnb. Are taking naps right now. Yeah, it's nap time for all the cats. But the most spectacular view is coming up right here. Look at the sign that says cold drinks. Alright, after you guys. And boom, here we are. Basically on the cliffs outside of the old city walls. The Bouja Bar was definitely one of the coolest places that we'd ever seen the sun set. So definitely check it out. It's also kid friendly so you can enjoy the sunset together as a family. We had such a great time in Dubrovnik and on all our adventures in Croatia. It was such a beautiful country and so safe and friendly and we definitely can't wait to come back. If you've got any questions about our adventures in Croatia, please comment below and if you like our videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We want you to escape the bubble. Like and subscribe.